So I started by just rehydrating some mushrooms, just to cover them in water, and then sliced them in half, sauteed an onion, and then add the mushrooms after the onion is already soft. Added just some fun spices. Don't ask me what it was, I don't even remember. While those were going, I started a pot of lentils over here, and I don't know what kind of spice I put in there, but it smells really good. Just simmer it. I had some tomatoes and a whole bunch of that garlic, so I just covered them with olive oil, did a little bit of salt, crushed red pepper, and then I tossed this cauliflower in some smoked paprika. Yeah? Toss those in olive oil, salt, and some curry powder. And I'm just gonna keep going until these are bursting. These are almost ready. But I need this garlic to be soft and it's not quite soft yet. If this starts like sticking to the pan, and there's little bits on the bottom, I'm gonna deglaze it just with the mushroom broth. This is what I um, rehydrated the mushrooms in. So I'm just gonna keep that broth because it's flavorful. Just keep moving it around. So I just kind of scraped those bits up into it, put a little bit more olive oil, and that was it, like no additional seasonings. Cause they're good already, just like this. I mean, come on. Have I ever made anything this gorgeous before? So we have a little bit of lettuce in the backyard, those sweet potatoes, the lentils, the roasted tomatoes, and garlic. we we'll cut some cucumbers, mm, the garlic's so good. Um, the cauliflower, I added a little bit of my favorite olives, mm, they are lemon, garlic, my chickpeas, the mushrooms and onions, a little squeeze of lemon, and put a little bit of feta. Shall we? Have I ever made anything this fabulous before? I, I don't know. Some of you have been with me for a long time. I This might be like my best thing ever. Mm. Mm. It reminds me my favorite thing that I get at Chubrood Kitchen, the ancient grain bowl, but that has quinoa in it, and I did lentils instead. Um, it's it's just all the flavors. I wish I had some chimichurri or papicholo sauce to put all over the top. That would make this like oh, so good, but I don't. Um, but this is so really really good. Mm. I wish I ate like this every day. Can someone just make this for me every day, please? It didn't take that long, and I have enough ingredients to make multiple ones of these bowls. I hope you have a delicious day.